our family has really been an aviation family forever for you know I would like to say my whole life but I'm not done with the life yet uh, still have a few more years to go but back when we were all kids uh, we went to air shows uh, all of us were taught about picking up at airports because Poverenzi might see you if you walk by and not pick up that piece of trash blowing. Uh, I remember coming, uh, we're at uh, Air Venture now, and I remember coming here for years with my family uh, and walking the flight line. Dad had a, a deal that if somebody came to the air show to show off their airplane, you had a responsibility to go look at it comment on the airplane so we would walk the flight line this is before we displayed here or exhibited here we would jump in the car and drive from Texas or Florida or wherever it was that we have we happen to be living and come see every airplane and mom and dad would walk us up and down every airplane and uh, talk about them, uh, talk to the people there's friends that we see here that you don't see anywhere else well my father began being an aviator I think the story goes, I think it was on his sixth birthday, he walked up to his parents and said, when I grow up, I'm going to design airplanes. Now, he was in a different world then. You know, this was the early 40s. We were at war, and there were contests, and the uh, aviators then were the heroes. They were the NASCAR pilots, the air racers that flew speed merchants. That's where we got the name for our company, it was Speed Merchants. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Dad remembered going, uh, as soon as he was able to and had a bike, he would ride to the airport. Uh, he would find a pilot. He would become his shadow. Anything he could do to learn about aviation and learn about flying, he did. It was sweeping floors, washing airplanes, uh, getting a cup of coffee. And that was just the way we were, were brought up. Dad built an airplane, uh, Spectra was a amphibious airplane, and it started off in dad's den in when we were growing up in florida and it kind of grew into the living room and then it grew into the garage and then this giant plastic cocoon because it was too big for the garage we just thought that it was normal to have airplane parts strewn around uh to hang out at the airports that's just the way our life always has been and when dad started working uh, and we all started working we kind of brought that same ethic uh, you need to have a passion for what you're doing. And we've always had a passion. Uh, my, one of the big advantages I've had in my life is I got to spend a lot of time with my parents as an adult. Uh, usually in America, you move away from your family. You're, you're gone. Uh, we did that. I did that. I was in Washington. They were in Wichita. Uh, when I had kids, we moved the family back to be close to family again. And that was a great, a great experience for my kids. They also got to hang out at the airport. Uh, we would go camping out at the, uh, out at the hangar. Uh, they would spend all summer uh, out at the uh, airport. When it was time, they'd pick up a broom, they'd sweep up, wash airplanes. Uh, and that's just the way I, my dad was brought up, the way I was brought up. That's the way my children have been brought up. From the mountains to the prairies, to the landings that we love, Garmin SVT, Synthetic Vision Technology. Well, back in 1988, Stuart Millar owned Piper Aircraft and he wanted to reinvigorate the Piper Aircraft product line with some uh, new airplanes or uh, improved airplanes. And my father had been working at Beechcraft at the time and had had enough of big companies and had 
pretty much decided he was going to retire for a while. And Stuart Millar brought him to Florida and wanted him to run engineering for Piper. Dad didn't like that idea. He didn't want to go from one big company to another seemingly big company and told him he'd love to tweak the airplane line. And he had a great airplane in mind, the, the Fury, uh, as the new one to roll out. But he wouldn't do it as part of Piper. They formed a new company called Lopresti Piper. And all of us kids got to be part of it. Uh, I have a, one brother. My oldest brother was in flight test at Boeing. My next brother was an analytical designer working for Burt Rutan. Uh, I was at uh, Boeing working in manufacturing engineering. And my other brother was a tool builder at uh, Timco. So we all were in aviation, but scattered across the whole country and all in different facets. So when we came to Vero Beach to create this new company to build the Fury, we all brought our different specialties. So it was a family business, but without any of the head bumping because we were all doing our own thing, but all together.